In the Bible, we read about a falling away of the people and only a remnant shall be saved. Man, you need a plethora of lawless sinners in order to showcase the remnant that is set apart in living righteous. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, we live in a daytime and hour where people, you know, want to deceive you with thinking that they're on some righteous journey and they're not going to speak to the truth that's in the book. But they will say things like, I'm on my spiritual journey, my spiritual awakening, but they're never going to uh, let you know who their head is and you'll be deceived in the thinking that these people have a relationship uh, with God when all actuality they're just involved in idolatry uh, and, and, and serving all of these other deities you see what I'm saying you have people out there that love astrology love witchcraft love enchantments and they'll tell you that they got a relationship with the most high Yah and uh, present themselves but you can see verses you can see in the book that their religion is vain it's worthless and th th when you know passages like they that say they know him and keep is not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him passages like those you know come straight up the middle and pretty much separate you know the goats from the sheep separate uh, the lawless from the righteous you know, when you look at passages like that, you know, and, and especially in Ecclesiasticus, and it's talking about they that transgress the laws of the Most High Yah are a deceivable seed. I want you to think about even your own blood family members that uh, openly and willingly transgress the commandments. Sunday worship is a main one how they do it. The Most High Yah ain't never told nobody to worship on the first day. I want you to think about how many people are openly transgressing the commandments, but call themselves religious. They didn't memorize some Bible scriptures, some passages. They didn't memorize some Bible passages, some scriptures. Only thing religious in their life is their vain activity that the Most High Yah has not told them to do. You got to understand, you got all these folks praying out here, but you have to realize that there's other characters in play biblically. There's other idols, there's other deities. And the Most High Yah says, you know, they that refuse to hear his laws, even their prayers are an abomination. Most High Yah is not hearing your prayers. He hate your prayers if you are living lawlessness. Living in lawlessness. You know, when you realize that the book is undefeated, the word of the Most High Yah is undefeated, Man, you'll, tr you'll quit trying to go back and forth with all these people because, you know, in order for a light to be seen, there has to be darkness. If everybody was walking in truth, if everybody had the light, then who would be in darkness out of the book? There would be nobody in darkness. If everybody could say, uh, God knows my heart and I got my own relate. No, that's not the way it works. So when these people you know, want to go back and forth with you and say all of this stuff that ain't rooted in no kind of truth, man, it's just coming from a place of, of, of carnal wisdom. And the Bible says that carnal wisdom is sensual, is earthly and devilish. He lets you know that their wisdom is not from above, not from above. And that there, there has to be, uh, you know, when the Most High Yah is saying, come out from among them and be ye separate, you gotta understand, most people ain't trying to separate themselves from the ways of the world. Most people trying to gravitate and fit into the ways of the world. So I tell you, I, you know, all praise to the most high y'all because when I see this, man, I stick and move, I keep it moving. There's no need uh, in, in trying to convince 
uh, people that don't want to walk in truth, convince people that enjoy living a comfortable, lawless life of, of transgressing the commandments of the Most High, there's no point. Move on. You'll waste a lot of your time and energy, you know, trying to, uh, to, to give these people a message. And it might not even be the will of the Most High, y'all, for them to get the message from you. You see what I'm saying? So stay encouraged, Israel. Don't let nobody knock you off this path because we know uh, narrow is the gate. The gate is not wide. It's not going to be like uh, the floodgates open like at Disney World. It ain't going to be like that. That thing, we talking about narrow to the point where it's a single file. Everybody's getting their doggone identity check. Your name in, in that book, Lamb's Book of Life, you ain't getting in. You're not getting in. A lot of these people say all this stuff and it sounds good and it's nothing but fair speech. Nothing but fair speech. And the word tells you the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. So that lets you know some of these people's word don't do nothing but make it feel like you're getting a cocoa butter rubbed on you. Ain't no truth in it. Most of y'all told you in this word that, that there's a lot of lukewarm messages out here. People ain't neither hot nor cold. You ain't no good for the kingdom. So when you hear people say this religious stuff, but it doesn't line up within the book, hey, I'm telling you, a lot of times people don't want to walk in truth. A lot of people have settled for giving the most high y'all about an hour and a half uh, out of their week on a day that he hasn't commanded on Sunday to go worship a whole nother deity, Nimrod, which is the sun god. And this stuff is written about in the book. You know, it's, it's a great place to be able to maintain your peace, your joy, you know, maintain your Ruach in the midst of people that choose to stay in darkness. You see what I'm saying? When you choose not to stay in darkness, you make a conscious effort to seek out the source, to seek out uh, the, the, the creator of all things. Some people don't want to seek it out, and this is the reason why there's so much uh, biblical illiteracy. Some people don't care about what they say they believe in thinking it's tied to the Bible and it ain't nowhere in there. Some people flat out don't care because like I said, they're comfortable uh, living an abominable life, living an idolatrous life. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.